Well, the garden is quite a mess at the moment, but that's because I've been building my new grow on. Um, just showing you the, the heat pump outside. Pretty much everything from the sheds out in the garden at the moment, but luckily the weather's been kind. So, clear up and start soon. So, the new pond is now up and running. Lucky shower with 40 kilogram of VHM. Got the heat pump circuit, which returned by this little shower that I made from uh, BQ planters. And that's filled with Sir Media MT2C, which I found very good media um, to use to get rid of nitrites and ammonia. So the bottom drain is right in the centre of the pond, it's one of the aerated spin drifter type. You can see the air uh, coming through that. The whole pond is um, made from timber interlocked uh, frame from a, a firm called Garden Paradise which, and to be honest the pond has been excellent, it's lined, lined with a liner that came with it and I got it for a price I thought was, uh, I thought that I couldn't buy the wood for basically myself. The liner is perfect in terms of absolutely no folds or creases in it of any kind, it's a spot welded. Um, the sieve running well. I'm having RO water going in to actually soften the water because it's very hard here and the pH is very hard. I find the poi grow better in a, um, a lower pH of around 7.4 rather than 8.4 that I get uh, around here with the hardness we have. Koi themselves are uh, looking good. I put four koi in last week and I've been monitoring it but because the, the little filter was mature, it's handling it very well. So my ammonia and nitrites are pretty much fully under control. Just trying to get a food in. The, in the, the shed itself it's got a built-in roof light which uh, is quite early in the morning now so uh, that will get quite a bit of sun on have also got windows all the way around because uh, hopefully plenty of light coming in keep the colours nice and I'd like to thank Richard Neese for helping me with the actual um, Installation and, and finishing off the inside of the pond. So, nicely well insulated. The plan in the winter is to heat the room rather than the water and have the heat pump as a backup source. Uh, I've got another device which is this heat pump technology, which is an air for air source pump. So here to keep the temperature. And I believe if I keep the temperature about 25, 26 in here, the water will be about 23, 24. That's it for now. Thank you.